Hi there, welcome back to the new ClickSense tutorial video. And in this video, we will going to talk about the in quarter function, which is helpful in identifying whether the timestamp or a date is in a given quarter or not. And this is identified based on the base date that you are specifying along with any period number in case you want to shift the base date uh, quarter to one period or two period. And finally, the first month of the year, which indicates that uh, if you are dealing with financial uh, quarters, then first month, what is the first month of the year? Whether it is Jan, then it will be one. But if your financial period is starting in March, then it will be three and so on and so forth for the rest of the months. All right. So let's check this particular um, function. And over here, we have a very simple table. As you can see, it's a temporary table for invoice that has been received at a different part of the year. And uh, what we want is, let's say, I uh, want to calculate the particular date, maybe 5th of Feb 2013 is falling in a which quarter. So 5th of Feb 2013, 31st of March 2013, things like that. Okay, so we will give this name quart check and we will load we will first of all load all the columns which are here we will soon reference the table time table but uh, star indicates that from this table get these two columns and then we will going to specify in quarter timestamp is our inv date the invoice date and the base period is let's say we have uh, uh, first of fab or 10th of Jan, whatever we want, we can we can give it. First of Feb 2013, right? And uh, so these are the two things which is there. And uh, zero indicates that take the current base period. And after that, we can specify the month information. So for example, if our fiscal year is starting from March, then we are going to specify March. But if you don't specify anything, it takes one as a January as a default. So let's give it a name, quarter check date, resident temp table. And finally, drop the table, drop table, temp table. So yeah, this is an error. Why? Because some reasons this add keyword is added over here. So now it's all good. Let's load this and see this thing in action in the analysis. Let's take a table at the dimension which is INV date, base date on which we are doing the checking. What I'm hoping is uh, 5th of Feb and 31st of March should come. If I'm not wrong, if I just save. So we have set 0 and 1st of Feb 2013 as a base date we have taken. Um, we select this table and add column dimension the quarter check. Yeah, so if you see for 5th of Feb minus 1, for 31st of March minus 1, so oddly minus 1 indicates over here the true and 0 indicates false. So this way you can uh, have the periods uh, identified or the dates identified. Uh, according to the number you are specifying. If you shift this to one, it will move on to the next period. So if I just um, save this and load it and close it, come to analysis, you will see that now it is moved to the next period and the May date is coming over here and these two dates are not coming. So that's about how you can apply the in quarter function and the same in quarter function you can apply in the front end. So what I suggest is select the table, you add the measure where you check the quarter date. So that's about it and I'll meet you in the front end, I'll meet you in the next video with the new topic.